You want to take over? We got WeFit on the screen. All right, so starting FD, um, honestly, like, this is a stage that, like, has a pretty bad reputation about, like, versus Sonic, but, like, depending on how your character approaches, the fact that he can, like, fly away when he lands on some platforms, like, this sometimes is, like, your best bet of catching him, you know? Yeah. And that, that can be a really big deal. Yeah, it definitely kind of reduces the risk in some matchups of, you know, circle camping, just depending on how much mobility your character has. Yeah, you need to be able to like kind of like properly mix up uh, against like spin dash stuff because like, you know, the I forget which one it is, but you know, the one that does the little hop is invincible on the rise up, so it'll just tank whatever. And then uh, you know, if you're able to like do a proper mix and you have like a decent burst range, you know, you can kind of like catch things off guard if you're able to uh, you know, um, like cross up so that he has to like cancel it and stuff like that. So. Yeah. So right now Ablon is Getting fairly comfortable with with a rhythm. I when he was on the left side of the stage, he did jump back, mid charge, sun salutation, and soccer ball like three times in a row. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it got some hits in. All right, and let's see. Abwam still chilling with the Wii Fit game plan right now. Sonic Team sitting at 147%. Deep breathing on deck. Dash attack is going to do it. And we are joined by... Hey, hey, hey. It's Karksim here. Here hey. to help. And John Number just lost his... No, wait. That wasn't, that wasn't Numbers. Who was this? This, no, this is this? No, this is This is Abwam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a different John costume. Number's throwing his hands up. Yeah. John's like, I would never have... I would never <laughs> fall that way. <laughs> He would never yeah. wear yellow. Right. Come on. That's not his color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is game one, right? I'm yeah. literally right here. <laughs> yes, you are. Um. Now pay attention to how many times Obon does ledge stand into jump off the stage. It's effective. It has it, it has, has been happening quite a lot. There he goes. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I shouldn't be talking, though. We got two commentators. Have fun. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> yeah, so we're just oh. playing at the ledge right here, as any other Wii Fit players would ever do. And Sonic Fiend hasn't been finding a way around it so far. He's been running into a lot of stray projectiles. Ooh, I love the reverse there. Putting Sonic Fiend in a dangerous position right now. I might make that still combos right there to up there to a uh, fair. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. I'd like to see some spot dodges because um, Sonic Fiend's been pretty telegraphed with the. Yeah, like right there. He's been doing it on the, uh, right above the ledge, which is not, not ideal when like, you can just keep repeating it, you know, habits. Right. <laughs> oh my god, Abon is so fast. Like, dip. <laughs> How is she faster than Sonic the Hedgehog? It's the power of doing your cardio, I guess. Deep breathing. All right, so like, help me out here. Uh, what's, the, what's the name of the downbeat that isn't Spin Dash? Uh, spin Charge. Spin Charge, right, 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 right. right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I see that Sonic Team's like using Spin Dash or Spin Charge to like um, at the ledge right there at the regular getup because like as Numbers mentioned earlier, like he's been neutral getting up a lot. Ooh, uh, Sonic Fiend tried to catch Abwan coming down with buttons, which he did, but just barely missed space. Okay, I like the movement mix-up. Sonic Fiend getting to center stage, but we are back where this entire game has been played so far. Yeah, after all, he frame. does have one stock left, so he, do he does need to start ma making some like, mix-ups around here. Yeah, there we go. Finally starting to get some aggression uh, with the forward air off stage, but right back, Abwan, Abwan's chilling. Yeah, Sonic is trying to find his own, but he's and he found it. There we go, finally. But Deep Breathing is now on deck, and you have an invincible Wii Fit running at you. But now just going back to old reliable. Led, uh, normal jump back from ledge and Sun Salutation charge. Yeah, you see Sonic Fiend is being patient at the ledge, resp respecting the options that Wii Fit has, trying not to overextend. All right, getting started right here. Not, not going to be able to get the jump out of um, the early jump. Goes back to neutral, back on the ledge. Yep, Sonic Fiend is starting to get some momentum, especially just, you know, and right there, catching Abwan with the Sun Salutation Charge, as he's been doing so often in this set. Yeah, sometimes you got to send the message like, hey, look, you got options, but like not all of them are safe all the time. Sonic is, you know, he's he's pretty fast. He's a yeah. speedy boy. He's he's gonna be getting those those punishes. 
Ooh, that Ooh. was scary. <laughs> I think that may have even killed with that much charge and rage. All right, good, good stuff using the soccer ball from Albon. Ooh, that's back uh, to neutral. We're actually center stage after like a good minute. Yeah, full screen run up dash attack. Albon, I think, is uh, he's really looking for this kill right now. Yeah, with deep oh, breathing. Yes. Ooh, I thought it was a little suspect the eye, but he's gonna be fine right now. He tried to get him with the, um, catch him jumping with with a fair. Not gonna get it, and deep breathing would have definitely killed. Okay, playing, put, having a little fun with the spring. Yeah, I mean, it's a good timing mix-up. Sonic Green does that a lot. Sometimes, you know, you can catch someone with a humming attack out of that. But, you know, we're back to neutral again. Abwan's got Sun Salutation and just kind of lets Abwan breathe it in for free. Oof, that was close. Okay. Sonic Green really has to be careful. Oh, oh you're dead. Yes, yeah, is. you're super yeah, dead. Yeah, you still deep breathing, correct? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's it. Feel the burn. All right, so, um... I wasn't sure how I feel about like Sonic being like um, taking the other side of the stage, even though he's like on, not really in an advantage, um, advantageous percentage at that book twenty. <laughs> Grab Sonic by the neck. <laughs> Come here. Tip towing on the stomach. Red. Yeah. Very red. Red is the one that means deep breathing, right? Yeah. Okay. Sparkles is sun salutation. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're getting some <laughs> signs from God right now. The writing's on the wall. Oh, you're right. Wait, but doesn't Kaioken make him weaker? Like afterward? Like it uses his energy? Okay, whatever. We're back to FD. Well, deep breathing is only a 1.25 times multiplier, so maybe it doesn't have that much of a strain on the trainer's body. Oh, fair enough. It's a <laughs> reserved Kaioken. Okay. Yeah, and besides, breathing's supposed to make you, make you stronger. Exactly. And speaking of being strong right now, Abwan starting off with a lead again. Okay, up throw, not getting a follow up, but a good frame trap there by Abwan. Ready for the neutral air dodge back down to stage. Ooh, Sangfin looking for a forward smash, not finding it. And Abwan's just back at ledge again, throwing the soccer balls. That was a good homing attack right there. I'm surprised that actually hit him instead of the stage. Yeah, and I think it was good on Sonic Fiend because it hit pretty much every every option there. I think even if Abwan had thrown out the header, I think Sonic Fiend timed it well enough that just reacting to Abwan running off ledge, he was going to get the homing attack. Okay, there we go. Dash attacking through the Sun Citation. Oh, be careful. What an angle with the soccer ball. Sonic Fiend kind of had Abwan dead to rights right there. Yeah, and I was could... a little worried about Sonic Fiend right there because like in that position, if up one like air dodge or like neutral air dodge at that like right as he's about to do the homing attack, it would have put uh, Sonic Fiend down. Mm -hmm. Sonic Fiend trying to time time the forward smash with the soccer ball. Oh, and scary? again, yeah, see exactly what I was thinking. Okay, okay, he still had to jump. One seventy four. Both character, both players on their first stock still. About two minutes in, coming up. Almost getting the first stock with the forward tilt. Uh, Sonic Fiend's got so much rage on his hands right now. Yeah, I'm surprised I'm not seeing any uh, spring on the ledge, since we're seeing up one on the ledge too much. But he's gonna find that forward air and ending the first stock. And he's finding a taunt for it. And this is where Sonic Fiend can play his game. He no longer has to deal with the Wii Fit at ledge right now. He can he can go to the other side of the stage if he wants and just wait for Abwan to come to him. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, but not if you're running into a soccer ball like that. 200%, you're gonna be dying there. And now Abwan doesn't have, or Sonic Fiend doesn't quite have that lead anymore. He does have a percent lead now. And I like how Sonic Fiend like really held the um the homing attack. And based on like Abwan's shield, it was probably most likely a shield break. <laughs> so he had to pick an option right away. Hop on looking to end things early there with that down air, just barely missing. I'm surprised that Esmash didn't hit during the roll. Yeah. That's interesting there that the spin charge just completely negated the soccer ball right there. Wow. Ooh, catching, your, catching your fingertips. Yep, poking up past ledge a little too much. And now I think Sonic Fiend can really camp. You know, when he was at uh, first, first stock, he could camp a little bit, but he was at 200, so... It, it was inevitable, but now you're only at 80, and Abwan sure doesn't have deep breathing on deck right now, and 
But Sonic Team is opting to continue to play aggressively. Yeah, I, I believe like the like part of the game plan is just mixing up in between the um, the passive aggressive state. Finding your openings and, and racking up as much percent as possible again, and catching the um the forward air again. This is scary. Yeah. Okay, nice F tilt, putting Song King off stage. Forward air not doing it just yet. No no deep breathing. Alright, Sonic King in a very good spot right now. Yeah, he's been spacing these uh, these F smashes pretty well lately, you know, outside of Obwan's ledge uh, forward air attempts. And Ooh. getting me two frames there. Yeah, yeah, good, good stuff for Sonic King. I wonder if that was actually a two frame. I think it was a little before that. It actually might have been. Yeah, because uh, he angled it down and it reaches um, pretty far deep he's, below the ledge. He's got a big old goofy fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that looks ridiculous sometimes. Ooh. Oh wow. <laughs> Cursed. Cursed images. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go to PS2. We're actually gonna change up the scenery. This is uh, Obwan's counter pick. Okay, interesting. I wonder what informed this particular counter pick. How does this. Uh, how does this benefit we fit over uh, FD? Sonic Fiends? Oh, yeah, so like the Sage is, like, I guess the Sage is bigger. We could play a little further away. Right. But, I mean, we talked a little bit before in the beginning of the set on how, you know, Sonic benefits a little bit more from, from platforms, I think, uh, yeah. just because he gets, he gets a lot more circle camping potential. Um, and, 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 and even though like we could like um, have more a little more space, Sonic is just close the distance too. Yeah. Plus, I mean, we haven't. I don't think I've seen. We haven't seen Abwan play center stage very much, so no. I don't know how platforms uh, really go into his game plan. And yeah. you know, even a minute into this game three right now, Abwan hasn't really interacted with the platforms. Yeah. No. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Barely missed the timing there for that F smash. Okay, this is bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you re-grabbed. You're getting F smashed. All right, gonna start with the deep breathing. I'm making too much use of it though. All these, you know, full screen projectiles. Deep breathing's running out and not getting much out of it. I think Abwan, Abwan seems to be a little bit lost right now as to what to do. There we go. Good use of the Sun Salutation there. But, I mean, cross stage is certainly no, nowhere close to killing. Back air? That Out will. Kill. Yep, it'll take it. Now we're back to the left side of the stage. Oh, but he's actually going to take the center first. Yep, using the Sun Salutation there to try and catch an early jump from Sonic Fiend. Sonic Fiend not biting. And Abwan is just back to I think, kind of the same old game plan. Yeah, back to square one. Whereas I think Sonic Fiend, Sonic Fiend has done a pretty good job of adapting in this oh, yeah, set. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, nice, nice fade back there. Not dealing with the the soccer ball head hit box. <laughs> it's so funny watching Wii Fit just run fully across the stage. You got that posture. Are right, you doing the same mix up again? Ooh, Ooh not, not ready for the stage tech there. Yeah. Now Sonic Fiend is sitting pretty, and he can definitely camp even better if he wants to now, now that he has those uh, PS2 platforms. Ooh, ill advised roll, but fell out of the spin charge. <laughs> the run-up jab. Yeah, he tried to see if he, he, if he got the um, the deep breathing charge, but uh, Obwan canceling it just in time for the shield. Yeah, just not finding these entrances right now is Obwan. Obwan's game plan so far has really seemed to uh, revolve around getting Sonic Fiend to run into his moves. But, I mean, even there, you know, cross stage, Obwan tried to get deep breathing set up, and he got F-tilted for it. Okay, 
say that. Uh, I say this is pretty even right now. It is, yeah. Yeah, he's not—he's not that far off to take a kill. Like um, a lot of uh, Weep has still to kill right now. Absolutely. <laughs> but I mean, I think right now it's—it's it's all about finding that opening. And yeah. These openings have been few and far between. Ooh. Ooh. This gameplay is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> My man is throwing the yeah. whole world at him. <laughs> Okay, okay, there. Oh, okay, let's talk about going over him. Listen, it's, you know, law of, big, <laughs> law of uh, probability, you know? <laughs> you throw all of these projectiles, one of them eventually has to hit. Oh, is that oh, it? Like no. that one? No. Almost. Sonic Queen's living to 200 again. Deep breathing is on deck, but I mean, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get off that spring. Stop having fun. Uh huh. All right, stand still. I see it. We're playing, playing the neutral. Go, go, roll. Abwan using his double jump to get right back to that comfy ledge. It's really <laughs> not. I feel like Abwan isn't comfortable in center stage at all yeah, right no. now. And I think that goes beyond like the nature of the character. Mm hmm. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, okay. Oh, that, I, that, that was actually really good uh, spacing right there from Sonic Fiend, putting it right up against the PS2 wall to make sure he didn't just drop. Ooh, F, uh, forward air, dangerously close to killing. Not oh. finding the two frame. <laughs> Sean Lovers is losing it off mic. Oh. Oh, oh, that, that was no. a dangerous uh, spring backstage, but Abwan wasn't ready. Right, this almost is so a minute stupid. left. <laughs> I'm loving every second of this. <laughs> oh, God. We're coming down to a minute here on the clock. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> the deep breathing. Oh, my God. Oh, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> We're, how are we oh back God, to even? I need to, be, I need to be here for this. <laughs> Oh, oh, I need to see how this ends. Shield poke? Oh Abon's winning? Abon's winning! Oh. <laughs> oh. There's no way. I can't believe this. There's no here. way. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh. 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 <laughs> we fit trainer. No way. <laughs> Huge we fit trainer moments. Oh my god, I can't spin <laughs> Oh, so stupid! Here's some replays. Oh boy, what a what a set that was. What, what a, a first what a great set of first the night. Set. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, that was so nerve-wracking. Didn't need it to be. Especially compared to the, um, the stocks earlier in this game. Right? <laughs> You gotta give up on credit for that patience. Right? Oh, yeah. They, both on both flares. Both of them, yes. Yeah, both of them has. That was extreme patience, except that one. Blackie, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, he's <laughs> playing around. There were 30, like 30 seconds left on the clock. <sighs> oh, I didn't oh. realize that. Oh, my gosh. Yep. <laughs> Sonic Team. Oh, my God. Couldn't Sonic. believe it. Drop. He had a good lead. Look at him. Yeah, that's oh! Sonic Fiend. Sonic Fiend's oh, got some, I am slain. Sonic Fiend's got some great pop-offs. When he... Okay. <laughs> when Sonic Fiend loses, he looks like an Ace Attorney character. Like, when they're on the stand and you present evidence at them and they're, like, physically hurt. They're blown back by it. Oh, but yeah, that was a very good set. But we're, we're going to have another decent set coming up right here. If, if, I remember, if I remember the shirt correctly, that's seven. Yeah, that is Devin. Yep, we do have Devin3000 sitting down versus... Uh, I don't know. We don't have it on our little setup. 